Welcome back to Common Sense. I'm Wendy Bell. I like this part of the program because it really comes from my heart. There's a reason we're talking about extreme liberalism, progressivism today. I host a daily talk radio program, just like my guests. I don't take a lot of calls. The other day, I did. And a gentleman phoned in from Ohio. He has two grown daughters, they're married, and he has a handful of grandkids. He loves his family, he adores his family. But he's not allowed to see any of them until he gets vaccinated. His daughters aren't interested in why he hasn't taken the shot. It's not open for discussion, there's no debate, no need for conversation. Their edict is his obeyance, and he is not obeying. And that means he has a new baby grandson he's never laid eyes on, never held, never smelled, never loved. And his daughter is perfectly fine with that. This man raised her. He worked to protect her, to shelter her, to feed her, to love her. Doesn't matter, it's her way or no way. And for this man, that's heartbreaking. This is what families are doing to each other in the name of the greater good or your patriotic duty. No, it's called insanity. And a lot of you out there who've drunk the progressive Kool-Aid will one day snap out of your trance and you re will realize that you messed up. The pages of your family album will be blank and the people you were supposed to have loved more than anything in the world will have sl slipped right through your fingers and it's too late. Look, I want America to succeed, and that means I also want Joe Biden to fail. Americans who believe progressivism is the answer need to watch what failure looks like every day. Life is becoming unaffordable. Our borders are a joke. Our neighborhoods are unsafe. Our public schools don't work, and we're told as parents, if we speak out about it, we are the enemy. No, the enemy is here. And it's been here for a while. It's just showing itself more now. I don't care if you feel the way I do when you hear the national anthem. It makes no difference to me if the American flag talks to your soul the way it does mine, or if you believe in the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the everything of America. I don't care, but your children will. I wanna leave you now with the soundbite I found on ABC This Week. It's a pollster laying the Democrats' cards on the table. Listen. Joe Biden ran as Harry Truman. He thought he was going to govern as Franklin Roosevelt. But this to me looks just like Jimmy Carter in every possible way. And those people sitting in the chamber on the 1st of March are going to wonder from this president, is he going to do to them what Jimmy Carter did, which is give us Ronald Reagan? Good God, I hope so. Thanks for tuning in, America. I'm Wendy Bell. See you next time on Common Sense.